hi everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is amarachi and i'm a grad student in the us on this channel i share useful tips about moving to the us as well as documenting my grad school journey so this is something you've been interested in please consider subscribing as you can tell from the title of today's video i'm going to be giving a few tips to help you succeed as an international student in the us i am not a professional or anything i'm just a student like you or like most of you who would be watching and these are just a couple of tips that i've gathered throughout my time here so far so enjoy so the first thing is going to be about your mindset um, just coming to the program, whether undergrad or grad, grad school, knowing that there are a lot of things that you're not going to know, and that is okay. Um, especially if you haven't had prior education in the US, the education system could be very different, and just life in general could be different. So coming to that, into whatever program you're in, acknowledging that there's a lot to learn, um, just have this at the back of your mind, but don't let that hold you down from, you know, actually making effort and um, excelling in your studies. Going off of that, um, when you know that there is a lot that you don't know, the second thing that I would say is please ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask for help. Ask your program advisor. Ask your like department head ask professors for help, um, ask the people in your international students office for help. All of these people are here to help you. Do not be afraid to ask for help or ask questions. The third thing is office hours. Please go for office hours, especially if you're struggling with a class. Um, for those who don't know, office hours are basically um, hours in a week that a, a course instructor has set aside um, to address students who are taking that class or students who may have problems in that class. It's just time for you to ask questions. Please, please, please go for office hours and do not wait until the end of the semester to talk to your instructor or let them know that you're struggling with a class. Please open your mouth and say something as soon as the first signs of confusion show up. And I say this because the US is a country where accommodations can be made for people, right? So um, if you need any kind of accommodations, those um, something can be worked around but you definitely do not wait, want to wait until the very last minute you know when is the tail end of the semester usually at that point you put the instructor in a tight corner and there might be little or nothing that they can do to help you so if you're struggling with a class the moment any sign of confusion shows up go for office hours talk to the professor let them know that you're struggling and they'll definitely work with you and help you through your struggles the fourth thing is, if a class allows it, work on your problem sets together with others. So get a group of people that you can work with and work on your problem sets together. This definitely is going to help you feel less overwhelmed. It's probably going to make the problem set also go by like faster and easier. I say this because it can really get overwhelming. When I was still taking classes, um, every semester maybe i had like two or three classes and typically each of those classes would have a problem set a weekly problem set that you had to turn in so imagine doing like three problem sets each of them with so many questions and having to do that over and over again by yourself week, week in week out it can get really tiring most of my classes allowed for like group work on the problem set and i just worked with people in my class and my friends and that made my life significantly easier so if your class or the classes that you're taking allow for it definitely consider doing your work together with others the fifth thing is do your work diligently but do not get burnt out. So the US education system can be quite brutal because there's always something to do. There's always something to turn in. It really is always something. Something is always going on. So it's very, very easy for you to just get overwhelmed, get burnt out. But guess what? If you get burnt out, then you cannot do any work at all. So please try to pace yourself and avoid getting overly stressed or burnt out. Going off of that, the sixth would be make sure that you have your time management on lockdown. Like make a schedule in your schedule, block out time for the most important things. So classes, attending classes, doing your homework, studying for exams. Um, if you're like on a sport team or you do any, you know, extracurricular activity that 
is serious block out time for those as well on your um daily daily schedule you really need to be on top of your game with time management because if you are not you easily get left behind I i'm telling you if you miss like one or two weeks of work sometimes it could be really hard to catch up so make sure that your time management is 100 percent or at least strive for that and if time management is something you're struggling with find out if your school has any like centers or resources that help with like drawing up a schedule um that help with like time management i know my school has a center that can help with that so look into this and you know contact the center if that's available in your school and they can help you figure out how to manage your time better the seventh thing is pay attention to your mental health um no really like take it seriously school in the u.s both undergrad and grad school like i said before can be very brutal um if you're struggling if you need any kind of help please make use of the resources that you have available on campus and if you find that you might need extra help you know talk to people on campus you can get like referrals for outside services and things like that but please 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 take your mental health seriously and if you are struggling talk to somebody the eighth thing is if you're from the warmer parts of the world and you move to like one of the colder states in the US, um, just a state that, you know, it gets really cold in winter, just know that winter sucks. Winter is, it just sucks. It sucks, especially for people who have never experienced it, especially for people who, you know, come from warmer countries. It just, it just sucks. It's too cold. Sometimes it snows. For me, the most challenging is the fact that darkness falls so early. So it could be like 4 p.m. and it's pitch, pitch black. That really starts to mess with your mind. Um, so in winter, please take extra care of yourself. I know that oftentimes you just want to lay in bed and not do anything but try not to do that you know um, try to move your body like work out it really helps to um, make you feel feel good long story short just be extra watchful in winter because it's a time where it's very very easy for lots of people to like slip into this depression if you don't know there's something called seasonal depression and it affects people usually in like the colder months um in winter and all of this so be on the lookout for this like don't try your best to not allow yourself to um slip into this state and if you do like i said in the previous point know that resources are available for you on campus or on off campus please talk to somebody the ninth tip is um try to get an internship sometime during your studies so if you're an undergrad a good time to do this would be like the summer after your sophomore year so when you're um, a rising junior or the summer after your junior year when you're like a rising senior um, if you're a grad student the best time to do this probably would be your first summer so the summer after your first year when i talk about these time frames i'm not saying like start looking for an internship that summer so if you want to intern like the summer after your first year you definitely start looking for an internship say like um december january december of the year before or january of that year because that's when like internship applications for different companies are going to open up i say this because hands-on experience is really 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 great and highly valuable um, it's something that is going to help you in the long run something that you should not take lightly and you know after graduation this experience can come in handy and in some cases you know some people even get full-time offers from places that they've interned in when they were studying so you know it's always nice to just get ahead of the game especially if you're an international student like you need to do all you can to make use of all the resources that are available to you in this country the 10 tip is if you can help it when looking for internships, focus your efforts on companies that have a track record of filing work permits for the international students that they hire. So there are lots of opportunities in the US, but unfortunately not every company is willing to hire international students because they require like lots of paperwork they need to file all of these work permits for them and some companies just do not want to take on i guess that burden 
I think it's in your best interest maybe to focus your efforts on those companies that have a track record for filing um, work permits for international students. And you can find this easily by just like Googling it. Um, I think there's a website called Interstride. I believe they have like a list of companies and their ranking for how, you know, like how many work permits they file for their employees and stuff like that. So take this into consideration. But of course, this is if you, you know, you know that after graduation, you'd like to stay back at least for a couple of years in the country and work here and all of that if you have like more long-term goals then you definitely should be fo focusing your efforts on companies like these the eleventh thing is please be a responsible human being and just stay away from trouble um, remember that this isn't your country you do not want to have any like run-ins with law you don't want to run into trouble when your friends or people in your cohort who are Americans are doing certain things that might be questionable just remember that this is not your country, you're an international student and you can get kicked out at any time. So please, 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 please stay out of trouble. And last but not least, enjoy your time. Um, find ways to spark joy in your life. The time is really going to go by so quickly. So try your best to have fun while at it. And I wish you good luck.